Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I Allegedly. And I've got a good one for you today because I am in La Jolla. I'm at La Jolla Cove. And it is absolutely stunning out here today. Uh, this is just beautiful. Just a beautiful day. This place is amazing because it's got so many places that you can hang out, walk out, be close to this beautiful beach. And uh, just the sights are just unbelievable. So before I get into it, please, so much to cover in the national news. Please take a second. Please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Share this with everybody. Uh, don't forget, uh, we've got the Patreon channel that you can sign up for. We just dropped a Patreon video today. And uh, also, uh, the email list. We had an email go out last week, and we got one coming out this week. So if you want to get informed on what's happening with the channel, sign up for that. Also, the cool thing is, we've got a bunch of new announcements that are coming out. They're absolutely going to be huge for the channel. Giveaways, a bunch of cool stuff uh, that are coming out. But, I mean, look at this place. This place is absolutely stunning. I still am amazed that when I come down here, that it's free. It's free to park. You can just see something that's absolutely, it's just, it's just stunning down here to say the least. But, uh, you know, there's a lot going on. And first thing, you know, as we enter March, I want to talk to you guys about getting yourself ready financially with your taxes. I don't care what country you live in. You've got to get yourself financially ready and do what you can do to, uh, to make sure everything's in order right now. And uh, what I always try to tell people to do is prepare early with your taxes. This is not to bore you, but again, regardless of what industry you're in, does your accountant know exactly what you do? Does he understand the industry that you're in? Whether you're an individual or you're a big company, does he really get it? I had somebody that just wrote me that was an architect and ask questions, doesn't think his accountant understands everything he's, he's doing in his industry. Which, are you maximizing your deductions? Are you getting the most out of everything financially right now? And you've gotta, you know, you've gotta do this. You've gotta work on this early. Talk to your accountant and I don't care if they tell you, hey, it's, it's the season and he's really busy. Ted can't get to you right now. Well, Ted's gotta wait 15 minutes because this could be the difference in you saving some serious money. And think about your deductions. Think about the last year. You know, did you get sick? Okay. Were you affected by all this? Well, there's deductions as a result of that for individuals and for businesses if that happened to you. Did you take care of another family member during this time? Family member move in with you? Did you move? Did you buy a new vehicle? Did you buy supplies? Did you buy new equipment for your work? Did you buy a cell phone even? Did you buy a computer? Did you buy cameras? Did you buy lights? Did you buy all that stuff? All that stuff is deductible. But again, for your industry, people don't realize about this. And also look at the vehicles. When you look at expenses for vehicles, think about this. Do you, um, do you, you know, deduct all the repairs? Is it better for you to have the mileage deduction? Are you like me that you drive a ton and the mileage is better than, than, than showing the repairs? Talk to your accountant about this and get this laid out in advance so that you can have all of this put together. Do you pay for parking for work? to pay for business meals. Again, I could bore you with this stuff for an hour and go through the list, but make sure that you're totally up to date on everything that you can get and every single deduction that you have. And again, people sit down, oh, Jeff, I gotta go see Ted and I don't wanna do this. And you spend an hour or two with this guy and that's the end of it. Well, you should have a pre-meeting. I've said this to you guys for months. You have a pre-meeting with your accountant to make sure that you're doing things right and you're getting the proper deductions and you're keeping the proper records so that you can justify all this stuff because so many people don't do that and so many people miss out on things. The IRS, think about this, has already sent out 22 million tax refunds already. That's amazing to me. Plus the average refund, all they've been doing is complaining, get ready folks, you're not gonna get as much money. Well, that's not true. These people are have gotten the average tax refund, this seemed kind of high to me, $3,528. It's a lot of money, guys. So the average tax return's over $3,500. It's $700 up from the previous year. But again, think about all the de deductions that you have. Think about your expenses. In LA County, there was just some people that were arrested for EDD fraud. And what they were doing was, they saw that there were some of those uh, debit cards for EDD that were returned. So these scoundrels took it, uh, called it in, verified it, and cashed it to the tune 
of millions of dollars. So one guy had 161 debit cards on him that worked at the post office, okay? Look at this, guys. Is this just beautiful down here or what? People walking out in the tide pool as the tide's low. The tide will eventually come up so high that this will be covered. So it's very cool. It never really dries out, but you see a lot of water up here. And it is a seal season up here. So prepare yourself for your taxes. Be ready early for your taxes. And again, with your personal finances, look at everything. Look at paying off credit card bills. Look at how you can get out of debt. I am crazy. I, I, I go insane. I hear about people that are buying trucks for $70,000 and they have no need to buy a truck. They just want to look cool in their truck. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, you would sit there. If some guy drove a Corvette and you thought he was an imbecile and he bought a Boxster or something, you would sit there and make fun of this. That some guy goes and buys a truck and you think nothing of it, but the guy spent 75 grand on that truck. That's insane. That's absolutely nuts right now. And again, look at everything in your finances. Look at every expense that you've got. Look at everything that you're in charge. Make sure you make your quarterly tax payments on time. And again, if your accountant is not somebody who is hip and up on everything new, get somebody else. Finish the year with this cat and move on because I'm telling you, it will only save you money in the long run. And if the person tells you how busy they are and they don't have time to talk to you about this, that's ridiculous because everybody's busy. I'm busy, you're busy, and this guy's got 15 minutes to make sure you're doing everything right. If you do that, it's only going to save you money. And then when you sit down with them, you're gonna be better prepared. But make sure this guy understands exactly what you do because I cannot tell you how many times sales reps, uh, people that are consultants don't get the maximum deductions. People that have service companies that don't write off all their deductions for all their employees, all their trucks, all their expenses, everything. And you've got to sit down and do that. And you can sit there and say, oh, I've done this for 25 years, Dan. I've got it all figured out. Do yourself a favor, refresh, go through. What's new? You know, your social media expenses, your advertising expenses, all the printing that you do, everything is a tax deduction and make sure you maximize it. I'm not giving you financial advice. I'm giving you brotherly advice to tell you what to do so that you can look at it and make sure that you're not wasting a dime on doing anything like this. So, okay, don't miss out because I've seen it happen time and again. People got the uh, stimulus payments and if you don't have the form for that, um, look into it, make sure you get that. If you did not, if you were eligible for a stimulus check and you didn't get it, this is the last chance. Uh, recovery rebate is done after this filing. So you're never going to get it again. And the other thing is if they told you, if you got a letter from the IRS that says that you got the stimulus payment and you never got it, somebody cashed your check or somebody has your debit card. You've got to look into that. So I'm at the ledge of this one place. Isn't this, I mean, this is just absolutely stunning out here, guys. Everybody walking in the tide pools. You know, mortgage rates are going up right now. And everything with Ukraine and with Russia, it's only going to escalate and get worse. And the fuel costs are going to go up. You're going to see the stock market go up and down. And it's going to act like, you know, it, it, is, it is impervious. It is not real. It is not based on reality. Yes, there are companies that have good earnings and their stock goes up. That does happen. There are companies that have bad earnings and the stock goes down. But overall, the fact that the uh, economy and the stock market basically ran by five stocks is insane right now. So I'm just tripping. Fall for you guys. So it's insane, guys, of what we're living through. Now, again, just do an audit. Do an audit on your own life. Do an audit on your own finances. Do an audit on your own security at your home, uh, for the people around you. Talk to your kids. Talk to family members. Make sure in this world, okay, it is a tough place right now, and it is only getting worse right now. People are getting more desperate. People are robbing people in various ways that are heinous, and they're doing it in broad daylight right now, and you've got to be ready for this. So please, Take time for everybody, for yourself and for everybody. And you can, I don't care how big you are. I don't care how tough you are. 
think about this. Look at this right now and prepare yourself for what could possibly happen in any situation. And if you do that, you're going to be a lot happier and not have situations and not have worries. Okay? Let me show you guys around this place a little bit. It's absolutely beautiful. This is just absolutely amazing. It's so beautiful out here. One thing I'm always asked about when I go to Los Angeles, the homeless problem. I found an amazing article. The city of Los Angeles, think about this number, is spending $837,000, $837,000 to house one person that's homeless. Okay? They built these units that are costing 800 grand. You know, there's a lot of people that watch this that don't live in a unit that costs 800 grand, but there's some homeless cat living in public housing that costs $837,000 to be built. This is insane. This is what's wrong with everything. Uh, I, I, there's a man named Caruso that's running for mayor who uh, developed the Grove. He was a former police commissioner. I hope this guy wins because as a businessman, this will stop if Rick Caruso uh, wins. So share your thoughts on this, guys. Do you think it's kind of outrageous that they're spending $837,000 per homeless person? You guys saw the video from last week when I was in LA and saw people sleeping on the street. They cleaned up the street. Two days later, they're all sleeping back there on the street. So incredible. Uh, Congress is thinking about also extending a bankruptcy uh, a rule, subchapter five, which meant that people that had half their business debt up to 2.75 billion, raised it to five uh, million dollars, I said billion, 2.75 million in business uh, debt could file bankruptcy. And they're trying to extend that right now uh, up through, uh, up through uh, to five and a half million dollars. It's gonna be interesting, guys, because they're talking about things like this when things get bad. Things are not good all over the place. You're starting to see uh, pandemonium. 2,200 people have used this new subchapter five and they want to extend it. So, you know, again, things are not good uh, right now. You're seeing businesses go out of business all over the place. Uh, Somebody just wrote me, Harbor House Inn in Dana Point, California. Fixture, it's been, it's funny. I drove by the Harbor House Inn this week and said, oh man, I gotta go back there. I had such a good time the last time I was there. Going out of business, guys, after 40 plus years. And this woman wrote me and told me how her son was a busboy there, you know, in the 80s and in school and just all the fond memories of that place. But again, support your local businesses, guys. Go out. Buy what you can from local businesses. It's really important, okay? I'll continue with this. Did you ever see the movie Escape from New York in the 80s? It was about how New York was so crime ridden that they took it, fenced it off, and basically turned it into a prison. And uh, every bad criminal was sent there. Hmm. Here's one thing that's happening right now, and that more and more businesses are hiring off-duty police officers to help with the security because violent crime is so bad again in New York. When Giuliani went in and cleaned it all up, okay, it was a safe place. Last time I was there, you could walk anywhere. It was just beautiful. It was cold, but you could walk anywhere. Not anymore, guys. It's Escape from New York. Snake Plissken's coming back. Kurt Russell's going to show up anytime soon. It's insane. So think about this. These cops are hired to create safe zones for certain, for certain businesses, certain retail stores, malls, certain places like that, and for their employees. Think about this. You guys are in the safe zone. You're here. You don't have to worry about things. Okay? I mean, this is nuts, guys. This is absolutely insane that this is what the world has come to 
and that violent crime is up and it's bad and New York and oh, how's that why don't you guys use that in a uh, uh, in an ad to get people to hey I love New York for the crime you know what I mean come on guys it's crazy would you go to New York right now you know it's funny my son hey let's go to a Yankee game this year okay let's not sure I'll go see the Yankees uh, beat up the Angels okay that's what I'll do in Anaheim anyways next thing is there is what they call a sunset on certain 3G products. Um, remember 3G just came out, you know, a few years ago. Everybody made such a big deal about it, how great it was, it's 3G. Well, certain cars have communication capabilities. Uh, Tesla, Audis, Hondas, and Nissans have 3G capabilities that do everything from security, the, uh, entertainment systems, and it's done. It ends on Tuesday, guys, and they're going to shut off 3G on certain cars. And some are saying, hey, it's just a software update, and some are not. Our main man, Elon, it's going to cost you 200 bucks if you bought a Tesla. I think it's a Model S before 2015. It's going to cost you $200. Again, la, 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 200 here, 200 there. Oh, you want this? It's 180 I mean this guy's a genius and you guys are just swiping your credit cards month after month for this guy so there's that my favorite one is Honda who says it's gonna be 900 to fix this so again an absolute disaster 3g uh, is going into the sunset AT&T is uh, is uh, getting rid of it I have an AT&T phone uh, not cell phone but a office phone that they keep telling me to update the system and use the new uh, uh, internet that we sent you guys or it's not going to work so I'm sure that that shut off is gonna be Tuesday so share your thoughts on all this stuff guys uh, retired police officers if you guys are a retired police officer and you get the work good for you but again guys the world is a very unsafe place and uh, the whole world okay and make sure that you are protecting yourself but to have these safe zones it works uh, to have employees have to get to a certain area hey uh, Claire's here. We know she's safe. How insane is that, guys? Share your thoughts and all this stuff because I think it's lunacy. And again, this, it's really weird. This down here looks really, I, I always say this, post-apocalyptic. But it just does, man. It looks like, it's just, it's just beautiful. But to walk down here and the, the tide pools and see the sea urchins and see all the cool stuff, it's just a fun, fun place. And again, this is free, guys. So when you come to San Diego, you stay at places down the street, come down here and walk, bring your kids, have a picnic, just beautiful. And hope, that, you know, and look, there's no retired police officers hanging out to make sure we're all safe. So share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys. I am still amazed that certain cities right now are kind of waging a war against small business. In Philadelphia, I've got a great article below, they're making it really difficult for businesses in Philadelphia to reopen, stay open, and things like that. And it's kind of ridiculous because the city of brotherly love has no love for small business. And I have a lot of uh, subscribers in the Philadelphia area, and I feel for you guys because here's the one thing, as times get tougher, People have less money to spend on extra things. The extracurricular activities, going out to dinner, different things like that. And with that, you want an environment that's appealing. You want to get the most for your money. And these businesses in Philadelphia are just getting shafted right now. So, you know, I feel for you guys. A lot of these places out here, people set up things to sell photo shoots, different things out here. It's kind of cool, very entrepreneurial, very nice, nice artist community, just really beautiful and really nice. And, and uh, always just a fun place to hang out. Citibank, the largest bank now, to announce that they are getting rid of overdraft fees. So if you have Citibank, no more $34 overdraft fees. And in fact, they're trying to make it more equitable, they say, for every community to deal with Citibank. So 
again, sometimes people that have less money, these are just unavoidable costs. And you use a debit card five, six times in a day. Uh, okay, when, did I get paid on Friday? Did I get paid on Monday? You know, and things happen to people all the time. Well, they're gonna eliminate that. But one thing that I suggest people do with their banks is sit down and have a conversation. What am I being charged for exactly? On my monthly bill, what am I being charged for? Also, I hate getting electronic uh, statements, guys, on anything. I'm a paper statement guy because I can sit down and I can write it up and I can, I can make notes and things like that. And I just found it to be the best way to do it for me. That's me. So look at your expenses for everything on your credit cards, on those bills, and make sure that you're not getting char overcharged for anything like that. The next thing is on Saturday, I got written by all these Bank of America customers in the Orange County area that had problems with Bank of America is being closed on Saturday. Willy nilly just closed. And my favorite one was uh, near Santa Ana, uh, there was a bank that when people walked in, they said, hey, um, listen, we're a little low on cash. Um, so what are you coming in for? Huh? Coming in to cash a check or I could throw it in the ATM. So anyways, that's a concern, guys. Again, now you can sit there and they're going to minimize this. And any Bank of America employee is going to sit there and say, it was a Saturday. And you guys cut the Saturday hours from 9 a.m. To, uh, from 9 a.m. to 2 to 10 a.m. to 1. And again, three hours, I think you guys would have enough cash for people. The wait at some of the uh, Bank of Americas, I was told was an hour and a half to get in the building, okay? So I don't know what concert they had going on inside or ball game that they had going on say, at the Bank of America, but needless to say, it's kind of preposterous. So again, look at these benches out here. This is so cool. I mean, you can just sit there, plan it, and deal with it but this is what guys everything in business right now everything with banking right now is so suspect right now look at everything that you're dealing with and ask questions okay do it okay and again the best places to be at uh, community banks credit unions are much safer they're owned by the depositors again big banks are all gonna laugh and say oh we're the safest place on the planet or again la 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 okay great but the problem with it is that you're going to see places like Poland where they couldn't get money out of the ATM when the Ukraine shenanigans started. So again, I'm not minimizing any of that to say the least, but the fact that these people couldn't get money out of an ATM is sick. And I tell you guys this, have cash on hand, have ones, have fives. That was a, the other thing, a Bank of America that had, we have very little ones in the bank. Huh? Okay, not that I'm screaming to go get ones, but really, so there's that. So again, guys, plan, protect yourself, have money, look at buying gold and silver also, guys, and making sure that uh, you have physical gold and silver. I love the gold stocks, I love the silver stocks. You guys all know that. But look at all this stuff to protect yourself when things are down right now, because I'm telling you, you're going to see one day where the musical chairs with the shenanigans, ridiculous, fake stock market is not going to bounce back. And we're all gonna be, oh, I didn't see this coming. That's what people are gonna say. And you've got guys like me warning you forever and a day that everything's going to end in short order. So prepare yourself with food, with everything. And, uh, you know, I talked to you guys about Tony, who was preparing for, uh, you know, my house, my food, you know, everything in the future, uh, in case something happened. I go through, make sure the dates are good on food, make sure you've got a little bit of everything, make sure you got plenty of water. Uh, you know, the security straws, uh, you know, uh, for drinking water, to purify water, those are very inexpensive. I had people buy me a bunch of those a couple years ago, uh, and uh, I've been grateful, and I've got them in case something bad happens. So share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys. Let me know what you think. But this place is just, it's absolutely beautiful. You cannot come to Seal Cove and not see the seals. So look at how fat they are. Just hanging out, living the good seal life.
they have it all blocked off so you can't go down there, but it's just fat seals just hanging out. Got the babies down there. It's just nice. I'm gonna end this video with these last few stories. Uh, this one's a no-brainer. They say that if you eat less meat five times a week, in other words, you switch to uh, fish over red meat, you have a lower risk of cancer, which they've been saying for 30 years, but there's another story on that, and a study on that, it's below. And also I found a great list of the 20 most common hacked passwords uh, on the internet. So uh, take a look at those guys, and the article is below. Uh, please do not forget to hit the like button. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, don't forget I've got the Patreon channel. I've got a bunch of cool stuff coming out for March. You get announcements early and get access to me. Uh, plus the email list. You guys get uh, updates on what's going on. So onward and upward, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you again for the 175000 It's just the beginning, guys. Onward and upward. I will. Uh, again, I'll see you guys very soon.